some time. We've talked about how healthcare workers are stretched thin because of the pandemic. Today, though, we learned that's also the case for those who take 911 calls. Very difficult work, and our Lindsay Nadrick spoke to a dispatcher, says it has been a tough year for them. Lindsay. Well, we've just had so much happen this year. The coronavirus pandemic, the nightly riots and protests, the wildfires, and on top of that, an 82% increase in shootings in Portland compared to last year. And with each one of those events came an increase of calls to 911. In fact, in August of this year, the 911 Bureau of Emergency Communications took more than 51,000 911 calls and more than 35,000 non-emergency calls. So to say they're busy is an understatement. Jeanette Hobson, a senior emergency communication dispatcher, told me staffing was already an issue, but the pandemic has made things worse. Pretty much everyone on the floor is, is running at some level of stress. Uh, like I said, we're a resilient work group, but you're tired. You're dealing with mandatory overtime. You're dealing with angry callers. Uh, you're trying to give callers an answer for why they have the delays and they don't want excuses. Well, Jeanette told me people are having to wait longer for help when they call 911 because in addition to having fewer dispatchers, there are also fewer police officers to respond to each call. She said both departments need more staff to handle the volume of calls they're seeing right now. But this isn't something that can be fixed overnight. I'll have more on this coming up at 5. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterch, Coin 6 News.